Well, good morning. Today is Monday, February 4th. It's beautiful out here. It's 46 degrees. It's supposed to go up to 50. But we're supposed to get some rain this afternoon, so I think all the rest of the snow will be gone. Pretty much most of the snow is gone right now. It's kind of misting right now. But I'm on my way, not to San Jose. I'm on my way to Red Robin. Yum! Because I'm going to go meet Esther Ross Newman. She's in visiting her family. She came from London. And so Bertie and I are going to meet her. I was supposedly supposed to go pick up Bertie and bring Bertie with me, but uh, she has a dentist appointment. So she's either, it's after, so she's going to go from there to her dentist. And I didn't want to sit in her dentist office. So she's driving her car and I'm driving my car. And Esther's driving her car, three cars, and we're all going to together. <coughs> but we're not going to crash. But we have two birthdays today. Uh, the first birthday is, in no particular order, is for Jolene Bauer. Today's her birthday. I think it's Jolene. J-O-L-E-E-N. Jolene. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jolene. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. I don't know where she lives, but hopefully the weather's better. I, th I think the weather's... It's always changing, but I think it's not bad all the way around everywhere. Well, it's just, you know, it's winter. Although... Suzanne at underscore life begins. She lives in New Zealand, so it's summer. I just can't wrap my head head around that sometimes. It's just weird. It's just I don't know. Well, this crazy planet we live on, I tell ya. Um, and we also have another birthday. It's Sue, and her channel name is Sue T S N B J J. It's all the initials of her family. So today's Sue's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sue. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I know it's not really a word. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Okay. Two birthdays. That's so nice. It's February 4th. It's just a nice day. I um, was watching some, trying to catch up on my videos. I uh, try to watch as many as I can. And sometimes I binge watch. And a lot of times, if you notice my comments, uh, like if you have more than one, you might see that they're only like a minute or two apart. I watch the videos on my television because I have a smart TV. I have some RT. And um, so I write the comments down like on a little piece of paper after I've watched the video. And then when I'm done, I go to your video. And if you have an ad, I watch your ad. But once your ad is done, then I make my comment. And then I move on to the next video and do the same thing. And uh, <clears throat> because I want to make sure I give you a like, a comment, <clears throat> and I already am subscribed. And a lot of times I'll share your videos, which I'm going to do right now because I want to share two people's videos. Uh, the one person's video I want to share is Lainey over at Lainey's Life. Um, she's really struggling she joined Weight Watchers she's tried a lot of different programs and then I think she joined WW just before Christmas and she's not having any losses and she's getting a little not discouraged well maybe discouraged but I know she's disappointed so go over to her channel and give her some love give her some support um, I see her food I don't understand myself why she's not losing weight because she shows you just about everything she eats <clears throat> it all looks like it's within points. doesn't look like she's over, so I don't know. I really don't know. And then the other channel I want to share is uh, Valerie Reese's channel. She did a, she does a weight loss and fitness uh, update once a week. Uh, I, she has a, you know, I, should, I watch it all the time and I can't remember. I don't know if she goes on My Fitness Pal or something like that, and they send her emails and, about fitness and things like that, and then she tracks her points or calories and stuff but anyway um she did a video yesterday about <clears throat> the 10 things you can learn from your dog and it reminded me of a cartoon that i saw just before i started watching her video i don't know if it was in a magazine or if it was in the newspaper or it was just a meme that i saw on facebook but it was it was so on target 
and it shows this man sitting on a park bench with his dog beside him and they're looking out at the sunset and then they show the little thought bubbles all around him <clears throat> and the man's thinking oh you know like he's thinking about money he's thinking about um, his how getting a house he's thinking of a new car um, he's just thinking of all this random stuff and the dogs just you know like what's gonna make him happy and then the dog sitting there and the only thing you see in the dog's bubble is him dreaming of sitting at, next to his master at a park bench and that just it hit me so spot on that we have to appreciate everything that we have around us and not keep dreaming about the stuff that we want to have you know we have so much in our lives right now and we need to accept what we have in our life and really be happy with what we have in our life I mean as much as we're struggling there's got to be somebody out there that's struggling more than us you know and as much as we want to lose weight there's probably people out there that are starving so I mean you always got to think of the, the the bigger picture of how well your life is doing so anyway we're getting on the expressway right now the truck in front of me I should have tried to pull ahead of him because he is slow it's a tractor trailer so and there's an accident at the very end. I gotta get rid of this te the phone, or I'm gonna get called, caught. So I'll talk to you later. Is it working this time? Yep. Now it's working. I couldn't, I couldn't get it to work. As much photography experience as I have, I'm with Esther Newman. I'm learning a lot about her. And I'm learning a lot about her. And we also got Birdie over there. Hello, my friends. She's a nut. But anyway, we're gonna enjoy our lunch now. So I'll see you guys later. Chalio. Well, here's my dinner for tonight. Um, I didn't eat all of the chicken, the Chinese yesterday, like I told you. I only ate half of it. Which Look at how much I had left, and I ate half yesterday. But um, I did start my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. My quote is, change your thoughts, and you'll change your mind. Um, my lunch or brunch or whatever, when I had it with um, Esther Newman today, I had the soup and salad combo um, with a glass of water and some dressing on the side. I forgot to show it to you, but that's what I had. And um, for my dinner, I'm going to have um, a cup of gravy, which I won't eat that whole thing of gravy, but I measured it out. Um, I'll probably just dip the chicken. I'll have a little bit on the rice, but that'll be about it. Uh, 12 points for six ounces of chicken. I didn't know how to do the chicken. I looked on the rest on the thing. I couldn't find it on the chicken, so I considered that breaded chicken, and I weighed it out, and it was six ounces and six points for a cup of rice which i will eat all of the rice so it was a 21 point dinner which is a lot but i'm four over for the day and i'm fine with it um, i'll let you know tonight how many calories it is because i've still got to count my calories well guess what i got a haircut i got them all cut not just one i got them all cut. i got all my hairs cut my family always say you're gonna go for a haircut and they go you should cut more than one I had a great lunch with um, Esther. We're friends now. We're like besties. I can call her Esther. And um, we learned a lot about each other, I think. I learned a lot about her. Hopefully she learned something about me, but she seemed to know everything about me. <laughs> so, uh, I am an open book. Open book, as they say. But um, I, had a, I had a really good time. I'm really glad we met. And then on the way home, I stopped at Lowe's to pick up <clears throat> a bag of rock salt because we're gonna have an ice storm tomorrow night and we're supposed to get anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of snow ice and so they said we might lose power. Most of my wires are underground here but there are the occasional that are above ground. So my plan is I'm gonna put the fireplace on because it's an electric start fireplace. And uh, well, that wouldn't make it really make a difference. Oh yeah, because the thermostat is electric, I think. Hmm. Hmm. I say, hmm. So I hope we don't lose power is the whole point of the whole thing is I just hope we don't lose power. If not, we'll have enough ice outside to put the food <laughs> so the food will stay cold. That won't be a problem. But I won't be able to go for my walk. And Bertie and I were going to go back to our swim class on Wednesday, but I'm sure there won't be any school. They passed some kind of legislation that um, they don't have to make up the weeks, the, the days last week that they were off. Because uh, in Michigan, you have to have 180 school days uh, to complete the year. So, I'm going to do that. But oh, so anyway, I stopped. I got distracted. I stopped at Lowe's and I bought some rock salt. 
a 40 pound bag of rock salt and a 40 pound bag of bird food or bird seed. And I hefted that one 40 pound bag into the, into the cart and then uh, the other 40 pound. Now mind you, I've lost 70 pounds. So I'm just 10 pounds shy of that. And, um, I could, there's no way, there was no way that somebody, I could have held my hand out like that and somebody could have stacked 80 pounds onto me to carry. And at one point I was 77 pounds, so that's just three pounds less. And even at that point, there's no way I could have carried 80 pounds. And I carried that around every single day of my life. Well, not every single day of my life, but you know what I mean. For a long time, I carried 80 pounds. And uh, that was, was just, I don't know. I know. It was just amazing, as far as I could tell. Amazing. Okay, now I know I went over my points for my dinner and my rec my lunch. Uh, I based my calories uh, for my... Uh, I had the soup and salad combination and on the on the menu it said um, uh, 550 to 570 calories and since I had chili I'm considering it the 570 so I figured I had 570 for my soup and sa my chili and salad because the chili came with um, some cheese and onions and some um, like tortilla straws you know on top of it so I probably have I'm gonna figure 570 for my my uh, breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it. And for dinner, um, the rice, for a cup of rice, white rice, was 205 calories. I know the chicken, I pulled the breading off and just ate the chicken, but I still, I weighed it out, it was six ounces. And um, and I put in my app and I put six ounces of breaded chicken, because I'm thinking that was breaded. And it came up 506. And for a cup of gravy which this seems low to me but i checked and double checked it said it was 100 calories i only ate a half of it a half a cup i didn't eat the whole cup i'm not a big gravy eater i just like to put a little bit on the rice but i still counted the 100 points and so that came to 811 so my total calories for the day were 1381 um i want to be right around 1800 so i think if i even if i made a mistake um i'm still 400 give or take. So I, I think I'm fine with that. But um, it was kind of hard to figure out that way. And especially since I went over my points, although technically I didn't really go over my points because I can go five over or 10 under. So I really was within my points that way. And um, I don't know, it just, it was just something to think about. I don't know. But that's what I had, uh, 1381. So what was that right? Five. 1481, I'm sorry, 1481. So that puts me at 300. I, I figured out wrong. You know my math. They know the new math that these old, that's all going around now. <laughs> but, so I'm still 300 points. I think if I made a mistake on the chicken and the rice and that, I think it wasn't more than 300 points. Or, yeah, 300 yeah, calories or whatever. But, um, I'm sure she doesn't watch anymore. Uh, I offended one of my viewers on one of my videos um, the day before yesterday, I think it was, on Saturday. Uh, I think she, uh, Sue Carter, I'm talking to you, and if I have offended you in any way, please know I apologize sincerely. That was not my intent. Um, Jim's family is from Owensboro, Kentucky. They consider themselves hillbillies. They call themselves hillbillies. Um, they, they tell me that they call it hillbilly music. Old country music, like back in the 50s and 60s, they said was called hillbilly music. And that's the kind of music Jim loves, is the country music from 50s and 60s. And they always refer to it as hillbilly music. And that's the only reason I refer to it that way. I judge people by how they act and not who they are. I don't care if you're black or brown or green or red or yellow. I don't care if you're Jewish, you're Muslim, you're, you know, what, I don't care. I really don't care. Gay, straight, bi, transsex, you know, whatever. I judge you by who you are. And I hopefully think that you just misunderstood me when I was saying about hellbilly music. I by no means say hellbilly people, and I agree with you completely. Country people, now I don't even know if that's an offensive term. <laughs> But I, you know, at this point, everybody's got to be so politically correct, and I don't mean any offense by it. People that live in the country, people that live in the South, I find to be very friendly people. 
very friendly people. They don't even insult you. They even if they they don't want to say something nice about you, they go bless your heart. You know, so I mean, they're even blessing you when they think you're being stupid. So hopefully, Sue, you can say bless your heart and forgive me because I know by no means none none whatsoever meant to offend you. And if I did, and you're still watching, please accept my apology. Uh, if I've lost you, obviously I'm talking to the wind, but. It's for anybody that's out there that if I ever say anything that you find offensive, before you unsubscribe, email me. Tell me that I did something wrong. I, you know, I want to know. I want to learn. I, you know, I'm never too old to learn. I'm never too old to learn. And I don't ever want to ever think that I've offended anybody in any, any way, shape, or form. I really, really don't. Um, if you don't like me, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. If you don't want to subscribe anymore because you just don't like my channel anymore, that's fine. I, I really don't care. I really, I, I want you to stay with us because I think we're in a very supportive group. I really do. But um, I by no means know in my heart that I could ever deliberately, deliberately hurt somebody. I, I just can't deliberately hurt anybody. That's just not who I am. And... Um, and I, all I could do is apologize. I'm so sorry. I, I don't ever want to offend anybody. I never do. I like to have a good time. I just really like to have a good time. <laughs> and Okay, now I'm being weak. Oh, now I'm going to offend somebody because I'm saying I'm being weak. But uh, anyway, so um, that's all I got to say about that. I'm just really, I'm sorry I offended her. And I'm sorry if I offend anybody. I don't mean to. That's just not who I am. But... Uh, Anyway, um, I'm going to post a video next Sunday with our accomplishments for January. So um, I just kind of came with it spur of the moment yesterday. But uh, I'm going to do it on the first Sundays of the month, what I'm normally going to do. And I'll give you a little bit no more notice at the end of February. But you can kind of track your progress in February. And know that last week of February that I'm going to, um, one of those days in the last week of February, I'm going to ask you so that I can post a video on the first Sunday. And we can... Uh, I'll cheer everybody on, you know, because that's what this, this what this channel, this is why I do this, to have fun, to get to know you, for you to get to know me, know that I'm human and I make mistakes just like everybody else, and um, that's just all I can say about, that's all I can say about that, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it, that, I guess that's it, I just, uh, I did remember that I said at the beginning that I was going to put two links down below for Valerie Reese's channel and Lainey's Life. I didn't forget. I really didn't. And uh, I wanted to thank um, Esther again. I had a really good time. I'm so glad that we met. I'm glad that, uh, we, you know, we, I, we lost all track of time. It was nice. It was, and, and Birdie came. And no, I didn't bring Birdie as a buffer to protect me. <laughs> did you see Birdie? Do you really think she's going to protect me? <laughs> no. So uh, give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you guys um, tomorrow on my videos. Well, obviously, I'm not going to be walking up to your door and knocking on the door. I might just do that if I knew where you lived. <laughs>